taking pictures? I'm taking pictures and video, yeah. Okay, stop. It's not allowed in here. Cool. I'll ask you one more time to stop, or we'll have to, have to call the authorities. Why would you do that? I want to be on their video. Ma'am, but you're trying, to, you're trying to cause a disturbance, please. You're causing a disturbance. No, I'm not. You weren't on the video until you put yourself in the video, ma'am. Why would you close down the post office? Um, well, we're just making sure that we t uh, make sure you have privacy to deal with your issues. Can I speak to a supervisor, please? No, you're under arrest. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today, we're at the United States Post Office here in Hagerstown, Maryland. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, let's see if we can find the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property, also known as Poster 7. Are you taking pictures, huh? I'm sorry? I'm taking pictures and video, yeah. Okay, stop. It's not allowed in here. Who are you? I work at the post office. It's not allowed in here. Why isn't it allowed in because here? Because it's a security issue. Well, it's calm, a, calm, law, calm down, ma'am. Okay. Calm down. Okay. There's no need to get upset. Okay, but okay. because of security, yes. There is no security. What security? There's no federal Steve. law. Are you, are you familiar with the rules Please and turn your camera off. Are you familiar with the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property? I guess you're not. I see a camera right here. Their cameras don't seem to be a problem. Excuse me, sir. We have people's personal information and everything else that you're not entitled to when you're doing the video. I'm, I'm not getting anybody's personal well, information. you have no idea what we have available here. I'm going to ask you to stop. I'm going to ask you one more time to stop, or we'll have to, have to call the authorities. Why would you do that? I'm going to ask you one more time. Please stop the video. What's your name, sir? All right. What's your name, sir? So it's I can hold you. It's Homeland Security. You can't Home, Homeland Security? Yes. It's literally borderline considered a terrorist act. A terror, it's borderline a terrorist act yes. to record in a post office. Yes. Is this real life? <laughs> borderline a terrorist act. Wow. Are they committing terrorism by having their cameras everywhere? That's ridiculous. The passport lady over here was extremely rude and you know what you know what guys they don't have any uh i haven't seen poster seven the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property anywhere in this post office which makes total sense because they're ignorant of their own rules and regulations maybe if they had them posted Maybe if they studied them, they would understand. Ma'am, no one's videoing anybody. Ma'am, but you're trying to you're trying to cause a disturbance. Please. No, I'm not. You weren't on the video until you put yourself in the video, ma'am. Okay, you weren't on the video until you put yourself on the video. You're in public, man. He's wrong. He's wrong. So stop making contact with me, then. What's What's the issue? You're the issue. Okay. You're I think you are the issue, man. You're going to jail. I'm going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. He's one of those guys. Got a whole truck. I don't want to video. You're in public. You're in public. No one's going to jail, man. You're in public. There's no expectation of privacy in public. You can't video me in the post office. You're in public, ma'am. You just said it. You're in public. He's he's wrong. He's wrong. He's wrong. He's wrong. What's wrong with this lady? Jesus. You see what she was trying to do is she's trying to incite some sort of 
She's trying to incite other patrons at the post office to, oh, he's recording you. He doesn't, he's not giving, he doesn't have permission to record you. Luckily, that woman that she was talking to didn't feed into her BS. No poster seven. Rules and regulations. Anywhere. Let's see if we can speak to the postmaster or supervisor. How you doing? I'm well. Um, I need to speak to the postmaster or a supervisor. Uh, I've been uh, told uh, you can just wait for the police and you can talk to them before you. I can wait for the police. Yeah, I, I would prefer to speak to a, a supervisor. Are you a supervisor? I'm not. You're not a supervisor. No. So a supervisor is unwilling, or the postmaster is unwilling to speak to me. You can wait for the police to come. They've been contacted. Can wait for the police. You, you okay. All right. Well, after they leave. I'll be wanting to speak to the supervisor or postmaster. I mean, I guess they could just hide out in the back, but it doesn't make any sense. Where's the customer service? Hey, sir. Someone Hi. Complaint. The post office would like you to leave. Hi, how are you? I'm um, perfectly wonderful. Today. I'm Officer Devers. Officer Krause is coming through the door. You're being audio and video recorded for evidentiary purposes. Um, hey, I'm sorry, can you just say your name and your badge number? Well, I can tell you I'm Officer Devers, it's Officer Kraus, and I appreciate your videotaping everything. But um, the post office called and asked, said they've asked you to leave, so they would like you to leave. This is their property, and so they have every right to ask you to leave. So what, could you Can I just leave? get your badge number? Why can't I get your badge number? It's 3126. Okay, thank you. So can you please leave? Do you understand, what department are you with? I'm, I'm with the Hagerstown City Police Department, same city you're in. Oh, okay. I assume I just, you know that. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, absolutely. So if you could do me a favor and please leave, that'd be great. Okay. Can, you can you call a supervisor? Because you have no jurisdiction on this property. Okay. You do not. Okay. I'm telling you. Before okay. you make a mistake, you should call your supervisor. This is federal property. Oh, my name is Sean. Sean what? Uh, just, just Sean. No, you don't have a last name? It's just Sean. So no one gave you a surname when you were born? It's just Sean, ma'am. It's just Sean. So you want to know my information, but you don't want to share yours with me? Well, you're technically the public servant here, ma'am, not me. Okay. So, um, How you doing today, sir? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Sir? Can I get your name and badge number, please, sir? Can I just get your name and badge number and, I'll, and I can work with you? Okay. All right, we'll deal with you in a minute. Great. Officer. You're going to shut the post office down for what? If you would look at the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property, poster 7, it will explain to you exactly that I have the permission to do what I'm doing and the First Amendment of the United States Constitution as well. Ma'am, can you please call a supervisor? Sir, I've already done that. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Actually, I think I've called three. Three so supervisors. You have three supervisors to uh, work, work through your issues today. Okay. Absolutely. I don't have any issues. Okay. I think the people at the... Why would you close down the post office? Huh? Why would you close down the post office? Um, well, we're just making sure that we t make sure you have privacy to deal with your issues so the rest of the world isn't privy Yeah, I don't have any issues. Okay, I'm okay. well, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm okay. Did you, did you not know that you don't have jurisdiction on federal property? Just letting you know, that's all. And I'm not doing anything illegal. Anyway. Sir, can you, just, can you just tell your supervisor since they don't want to speak to me, um, can you just let them know to look up poster seven? the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property. It's a federal law. I'm being serious. I'm trying to be genuine with you. Well, it's, a federal, it's a federal law. 
pretty that, sure you're being genuine when people have asked you to stop filming them. But sir, I have a, I, I have the right to film but for why, news why, purposes. Why would you? Because I have the right. Why, why else would anybody exercise their rights? Okay. Because they have the right to. I'm firmly in the people having the rights. Yeah, we have a right. As I wasn't, long as you don't infringe on other people's rights. Was, was I filming anybody directly? Was they I doing anything when I walked were, in? There are people that said you were, and they actually said they asked you to stop. They did. They came when, when you and told me, you when you told When you saw me filming, what was I filming, sir? You were filming the walls, and then you, okay. came, and then you came up front. Where, sir, are you leaving? Yeah. You were told to leave. Are you leaving? Are you going to arrest me if I don't leave? Yes. Can I speak to a supervisor, please? Yeah, you're under arrest. I was ready to leave. You had no jurisdiction on this property. So as you just saw, I was unlawfully arrested and my constitutional rights were violated by the Hagerstown Police Department right here in Maryland. I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible because I will be going live in the coming days to explain everything in more detail, as well as share the police report with all of you and any discovery or court documents that I may receive. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have notifications turned on so you do not miss it. Now that being said, what everybody wants to know, what happened after the camera got cut off and what was I ultimately charged with? So the arresting officers, Devers and Kraus, two complete and utter tyrants, ripped the camera out of my hand, placed me in handcuffs and put them on so tight that it cut off the circulation to my hands. When I complained, their response was, well, they're not built for comfort, but it gets worse. It gets worse. They hotboxed me, which means that they put me in the back of their cruiser on an 85 degree day with all the windows rolled up and the car turned off. I could barely breathe. I was screaming and banging on the door trying to get them to turn the car on. And when they finally did, Officer Devers tells me, I don't take orders from you. Really, Officer Devers? A little compassion? That's giving you orders? Just asking for a little humanity? From your cruel and unusual punishment? Ridiculous. I was then transported to the Washington County Jail. I actually just left the Washington County Jail. I was there for four hours in a cell. I got fingerprinted. My property was inventoried. I saw a bail commissioner and I was later released on my own recognizances. I was ultimately charged with criminal trespassing, even though if you watch the video, the postmaster never ordered me to leave. They told me to stop recording or they'll call the police. So I don't know where they get criminal trespassing from. They also charged me with failure to obey because God forbid we do not obey our own public servants. Failure to obey and criminal trespassing is what I was charged with. Completely ridiculous. No one ordered me to leave. Tyrant Kraus said, are you going to leave? I said, are you going to arrest me? If I don't, he said yes. And I said, well, can I speak to a supervisor and placed me in handcuffs? But it doesn't matter about the facts of the case. It doesn't matter that they didn't have any lawful authority to trespass me from public when I'm engaging in a constitutionally protected activity. None of that matters. Because if, if you hear me on the video, I tried to explain to them they have no jurisdiction at that particular post office. For those of you familiar with my Waterbury, Connecticut post office case, the charges were dismissed. I submitted a motion to dismiss based on subject matter jurisdiction and the judge sided with me issuing a decision that stated that any United States post office that was built before 1940 the federal government has exclusive jurisdiction meaning that local law enforcement have zero authority on that property and I tried to explain this to them but they would not listen so these charges will get dropped if the past is any indicator, it will be a long and hard fight, but I'm up for it because I know I have we the people behind me. We can do it together. I will also be staying here in Hagerstown. They're not running me out of town. I'll be staying here. Tomorrow I'll be going to the police department where I'll be fi filing official complaints against the tyrants responsible for stealing my freedom, for robbing me of my freedom.
I'll be filing official complaints against them as well as requesting the body camera footage from the incident because thankfully they were wearing body cameras. So stay tuned to the channel again. I will be, as soon as I get the body camera footage, I will post it right here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is uncalled for. Tyranny has no place in our country. None. I will be exhausting all my remedies. I will be going to the FBI here in Maryland to file a civil rights violation complaint because it is against federal law to do what Officer Devers and Krauss did. They should be arrested. I will not let this stand. It is my First Amendment right and your First Amendment right to petition our grievances to our government peacefully. And that's what I plan on doing. And I will hold everyone involved in this situation accountable. You can bet on it. And I will be filing a federal lawsuit. I've already contacted my attorney here in Maryland. He's on the case. We're going to be filing basically the same motion we filed in, I filed in uh, Waterbury, Connecticut. And, uh, you know, stay tuned to the channel, guys. I'm going to be giving constant updates on what's going on here. I really appreciate you guys. I love you all. As always, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below. Stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.